Welcome to Trickling Streams. Over the past one year, month, week, or even today, are there things you did or did not do, the thought of which evokes negative feelings such as regret, anger at self, pain, resentment, things you wish you could undo or get an opportunity to get to do? Today, we will be exploring an emotion we all have experienced at one point or another in our lives. We'll be looking at guilt and how to manage it. Guilt is part of being human. It's an emotional experience that occurs when a person believes or realizes, either accurately or not, that they have compromised their own standard of conduct, that is, stepped outside the boundaries of their core values, or done something that conflicts with what is considered a universal moral standard, and that by doing so, they bear significantly the responsibility of their actions. Guilt can either be healthy or unhealthy, that is, toxic. Guilt is considered healthy when its purpose is to let one know when they have done something wrong and therefore helping them develop a better sense of their behavior and how it affects them and others. This type of guilt then prompts you to re-examine your behavior so that you do not end up making the same mistake over and over. It therefore helps one acknowledge their actions and spurs the motivation to improve on their behavior. We can experience guilt internally by ourselves or by someone else manipulating us to make us feel guilty by constantly reminding us of what we have done wrong. On the other hand, toxic or unhealthy guilt causes you to blame yourself for things you're not responsible for, could not control, or do not understand. For example, in the case of a cheating spouse, you could be blaming yourself by asking, what did I do to make him or her cheat? Or your spouse could be blaming you for their own behavior or failures. It is important to separate the self-imposed feeling of guilt with actually being guilty. Guilt can cause us inattention, exhaustion, and even depression. So, when we are experiencing the feeling of guilt for something we did or failed to do, how do we manage or overcome it? One is by being realistic. Do not hold yourself to unrealistically high standards of behavior or goals that may be unattainable. For example, perfectionism. If you have a perfectionist standard for yourself, you will fall short of your goals. It is not humanly possible to be the best at everything all the time. Do your best without demanding of yourself to be the best there is. Number two is that explore the source of your guilt. Where does the guilt stem from? Is it realistic? Am I exaggerating anything? What purpose does this guilt serve in my life? Knowing the source of your guilt provides clarity on how to proceed in managing it. Number three is that accept that you have done something wrong. Be honest with yourself about it and gather the courage to admit to your mistakes. This will form the basis for taking corrective action. Number four is that make amends. Take corrective action. Apologize to those you have wronged and be prepared for both positive and negative reactions. Nevertheless, do it. Those we apologize to may not be ready to forgive us yet, but taking the step of letting them know that we are remorseful for our actions frees us and provides the peace we need to take the next steps. Number five is very important. Forgive yourself. Forgiving yourself requires self-acceptance. It has to do with acknowledging that you're human and therefore prone to making mistakes. It is also about letting go of self-criticism and self-punishment. 
Share the same compassion that you extend to others with yourself. Be gentle and understanding with yourself. Number six is that learn from your past. Let your past mistakes be a lesson to allow you look to the future without allowing the past to define you. Affirm the positive aspects of your situation. What it positively changed in you and celebrate the better person you have become. Number seven is that take care of yourself. Work on developing a more self-loving and self-caring relationship with yourself. Accept your imperfections and be kind to yourself. In conclusion, take a day at a time towards being totally free since guilt is an emotional baggage. Feed your mind with positive self-talk and experiences. You are deserving of a better future and your journey to walk light and happy just begun. This is Trickling Streams. Subscribe, like, and share.